speak the speech, I pray you, as I pronounced it to you, trippingly on the tongue. Oh, but if you mouth it, as many of your players do, I had as leave the town crier spoke my lines. Nor do not soar the air too much with your hand thus, but use all gently. For in the very torrent, tempest, and as I may say, the whirlwind of passion, you must acquire and beget a temperance that may give it smoothness. Oh, it offends me to the soul to hear a robustious, periwig pated fellow tear a passion to tatters, to very rags, to split the ears of the groundlings, who for the most part are capable of nothing but inexplicable dumb shows and noise. I would have such a fellow whipped for overdoing Temegat. Out Herod's Herod. Pray you avoid it. Oh, no, be not too tame neither. But let your own discretion be your tutor. Suit the action to the word, the word to the action. With this special, overstep not the modesty of nature. For anything so overdone is from the purpose of playing. Whose end, both at the first and now, was and is to hold up as twere the mirror up to nature, to show virtue her own feature, scorn her own image, and the very age and body of the time, his form and pressure. Now this overdone, or come tardy off, though it make the unskilled laugh, cannot but make the judicious grieve. The censure of the which one must, in your allowance, overweigh a whole theatre of others. Oh, there be players that I have seen play and heard others praise, and that highly, not to speak it profanely, that neither have the accent of Christians, nor the gait of Christian pagan, nor man, have so strutted and bellowed that I have thought some of nature's journeymen had made men and not made them well, they imitated humanity so abominably. Oh, reform it all together. Oh, and let those that play your clowns speak no more than is set down for them. For there be of them that will themselves laugh to set on some quantity of barren spectators. To laugh too, though in the meantime some necessary question of the play be then to be considerate. That's villainous and shows a most pitiful ambition in the fool that uses it. Go, make you ready 